Does it feel like you have two purpose and two reasons to be on Facebook? One is you're probably getting a lot of pitched, you're being pitched, or the other is you want to get clients from your Facebook. And today we are going to talk about how I was able to get my coaching client from Facebook and majority of them come from Facebook and I'm going to show you exactly how. So keep watching. I'm Michelle and I am a visibility and marketing coach and I love helping female coaches to get seen, get heard and get paying clients and making your marketing the simplest and the easiest part of your coaching business. Today we're going to talk about my most exciting topic. This is something that I've been doing for the last five years and five years only because ever since I became a life coach, most of the activity and marketing things I have done are all coming out from online social media and online presence. I have rarely attend any networking events that's in person. Like occasionally I go to these uh, chamber of commerce and connect with local business owners and things like that. But I built my business 100% remotely online even before COVID. And the most powerful platform in my opinion, and I am totally biased on this one, is Facebook. Because if you think about how Facebook works and what type of audience are on Facebook, you'll realize that majority of us are actually going to Facebook 100% of the time. Most of us, know, despite how much that we hate Facebook, we all have a Facebook account. Whether you use it or not, that's a different story, but that's for another day. But the fact that everybody, almost your grandmother, your eight-year-old niece and nephew, they probably also have a Facebook account. The fact that everybody is on Facebook, that should tell you something. Now, how often do people use it? What do they use it for? And the reason behind why they're using it, it's very different from one person to another, right? So it is not entirely true that your paying client is not on Facebook, but on LinkedIn, because that statement has a fault to it. Now, I personally am biased because I use Facebook quite a lot. And almost all of my clients came from Facebook rather than on LinkedIn. Am I on LinkedIn? Yes, absolutely. If you check out my social media, I'm on social media everywhere. But as a new coach, especially a newbie coach, I encourage you not to be on everyone because it's overwhelming when you don't have the system that allow you to streamline all your processes to be on all the platform. So when you're first starting out, I might just encourage you to pick one platform or two. Uh, maybe you like Instagram, then great, pick Instagram, but don't overwhelm yourself by being on all the social media platform. And that's not where I started either. I started out on Instagram and Facebook, and those were the primary two account that go to to talk about my business. And that's exactly where I encourage all my clients to start just having at least two accounts at most so that managing them doesn't feel overwhelming. Now, the good news is Facebook and Instagram, now it's all combined, right? So you can cross post a lot of the uh, social media posts, whether you post it on personal profile or Instagram business profile, you can all combine them into one. So it saves a lot of time and energy that you have to be on both platforms at different times for different reasons. So, but today we're going to talk about exactly how do you leverage your Facebook to get coaching client? Now, this is something I posted just not too long ago today. I'll link the, the post down below in the description box so you can go and check it out. You do have to be a member inside my community. So if you have not joined my community and if you are a female coach who's looking to build a profitable full-time coaching business, I encourage you to come inside my community. So the link is down in the uh, description box below to join my community. Now, one of the things that I talked about inside the community is nowadays when you go onto Facebook, it feels like there's only two things that you're getting. One is you want to be there to market your business or to pitch, right? You're pitching to someone about your service. Or it's the reverse. You're getting pitched by all these marketers, course creators, business coaches, marketing coaches who wanted to sell you their service. And so that creates a lot of uh, resistance for a lot of us feeling like 
oh my gosh, like when are these marketing messages going to stop, right? It just seems like never ending. Every other comment that I get is, oh, I'm going to send you a private DM. Oh, a DM sent, right? This is something that uh, one of my community members actually commenting on. She said that she hated when you ask a question and the moment that you ask that question, someone just said DM sent. No, just answer my question. <laughs> Can you just freaking answer my question? And so that feeling of you're being sell to and you're being the target for a lot of these marketers or business coaches or coaches who work with coaches, it just doesn't feel very good. And that defeat the whole idea and purpose behind building a community. And I, the, the scenario and the example that I use is remember the back in the old days when we're using MySpace, you on that social media because you want to connect with the rest of the world. You want to actually make that genuine connection to meet new friends, to have that new relationship, to build a friendship with someone and that genuine authenticity, right? It's so overused authenticity, but like that authentic feeling of, Hey, I don't want anything from you. I just want to talk to you. I just want to talk to a person. And that is the mindset. When I first started out, I just want to talk to somebody because I'm an introvert. So a lot of time I don't go out. I don't go to network. Networking just makes me feel very uncomfortable. But if you give me a space inside my room, I can feel very comfortable. And this is why I do podcasts. I do YouTube channel because it makes me feel comfortable. I can talk to myself, not a problem. But when you put me in a room of all these people around me, then I have to like entertain this person. I have to go to talk to that person. It just makes me very, very energy drained. So because of that reason, so when I built my business, I had that intention of I'm going to see and leverage my social media as a big networking event, big networking network, right? And that's the whole concept and premise of why there's something called internet. It allows you to connect with complete strangers just by making friends. So I think it's a complete different mindset. You're walking in knowing that, hey, I'm going to just be helpful. And when you have that mindset of I'm just going to show up and be helpful. It's very different energy that you carry and you bring in onto your social media platform. Now, if you think about that, right, I'm not going to be on my personal profile and to pitch every single one of my follower because they follow me. And that's something that I don't do. Okay. So I'm sharing these tips with you because that's what I want you to walk away with is that how you can do and leverage social media differently. And nowadays that pitching, that hard sell, that first initial connection and you're sending that person a DM, Hey, I noticed that you so-and-so you are in the same group as I am. That does not give you the right to send me a DM, right? Just because we're in the same group doesn't mean anything. So what you want to do is you want to get to know that person and that person may send you a wave or that person may just stand on the sideline and watching what you pose and maybe that person will make a comment. If that person make a comment, then reply to that person in the most genuine, authentic way, right? It's a conversation that you're inviting someone to come in. And so take out all the feeling of I am there to sell a business, to sell a service, but instead coming in with a mindset of I am here to make a connection, to make a new friend, to get to know someone and to learn more about that person's liking, what that person like, what that person don't like. And maybe we find a common ground and it just so happened that you are struggling with something that I have the gift in helping you. Right. And that is a much genuine way of offering your service than going to make a connection request and then say, hey, just because you and I are in the same group and therefore I'm going to send you a DM. Is it OK that we be friends? That to me, it's not an authentic way of making that connection. So nowadays, OK, when you are on your social media, instead of going in there to a group to think about how can I position myself to talk about my offer? Rather, I want you to go into the group and think about 
what is it that you can help to start that conversation with people? And that conversation sometimes has nothing has nothing to do with your business. It had probably have everything to do with your experience. Maybe you like certain brand or maybe you use certain brand and people are talking about it and you're sharing your insights. Just having a conversation, I promise you, it goes a long way. And if you can approach it, even on your personal profile on your Facebook and just strike a conversation with your audience, with your followers, ask them questions, ask them about their life. I promise you it's going to go a long way. And this is much more effective marketing strategy than going into the intention of, I am here on Facebook to sell. That is not a great mindset. And I can tell you in 2024, that mindset needs to go out of the window. That's no longer working. You need to show up on your Facebook and just be a conversation starter. You are there to start and strike a conversation. And sometimes that conversation may not immediately generate a sales for you, but I promise you it's a little better way of building that relationship. And if you want more business in your coaching business, then you're going to want to have conversation. So remember, the way that you sell on Facebook is by taking away that selling mindset and stop selling and start actually making that genuine connection with someone and be there to be helpful. And hopefully this is going to help you. And if we have not connected yet on Facebook, I would love to invite you to follow me on my social. You'll find the link down in the description box as well. You can follow me on Instagram, on Facebook. I hang out on Facebook a lot. So come and check out and let's just have a conversation. I promise you, I won't be sending you a DM. No DM will be sent. Until then, I will see you in the next video.